Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing fatty liver. What is it? Do you have it? So there's different types of classifications of fatty liver. There are two. There's simple and something else called NASH. The simple type of fatty liver means that there is fat in the liver. However, there's no inflammation. So, you know, this is very common and definitely on the rise, and there's no damage to the actual liver cells. Now, the little bit more invasive type Type of fatty liver is called NASH or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis and this is now inflammation that's happened in the liver and damage to the actual liver cells. Now there are some risk factors for developing fatty liver so definitely being overweight and obesity is one of them. Another one is diabetes especially type 2 diabetes and there's a huge correlation between the diabetic and that fatty liver in the development of the fatty liver. So how is this diagnosed? Well, fatty liver typically is diagnosed because of the blood work with elevated liver enzymes, but also can be diagnosed, of course, with an ultrasound, and the practitioner will actually see those fatty deposits on the liver. And another definitive diagnosis would be an MRI scan. So what are some of the causes of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, if you've seen it in the literature. So one of them for sure that we have to be aware of is too much sugar in the diet, especially fructose. And this is, you know, something that we have to be aware of. So if you're that person who loves your sugary carbohydrates and even too much fruit juice um, and fructose, this can be a big problem. And we see this even in children now are developing fatty liver. And it's estimated that about 10% of American children from age 2 to 19 actually have have fatty liver. So this is a scary thing. It's something that we definitely have in our control to be able to control what goes into our bodies and into our children's bodies. So watching those fruit juices, as much as they, you know, seemingly are healthy, what happens with that fructose is that type of sugar that goes directly into the liver and can get stored as fat. And this is why as a preventative, we want to make sure that we're watching that fructose. This can also be in iced teas and in different, you know, soft drinks and things that we want to limit that. So drinking more water definitely is better. Another source is potentially fat. So there's some controversy, in my opinion, around the fact that fat, certainly if they're the inflammatory PUFAs, the polyunsaturated fatty acids that you've heard me speak about before, this could be a problem. So the seed oils, canola oil, margarine, trans fats, definitely not a healthy thing. But in some of the literature, even from some of the big institutes of health, you know, it discusses decreasing fats in the diet and I'm not convinced that that's always the best thing. We know that the keto diet definitely has a lot of advantages and having healthy fats in the diet isn't necessarily a causative factor for that fatty liver. So it's it's something to certainly do your own due diligence on and, you know, really look at what may be, you know, in terms of decreasing that fructose in the diet is an important step that we can take to prevent but also start to reverse that fatty liver disease. So I hope you have some questions. I'd love to hear from you in the comments and please be sure to share this video with someone that you know will benefit from this information. Always give me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And if you're new here, welcome in. I hope that you're subscribed and you click that bell to turn on all those notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads. Remember to always take good care of your health and to do it naturally. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you.